Okay. Good morning everybody and welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you've never been here before. My name is Samuel Alvarez, this is my channel and you should totally subscribe because that would just be awesome. As you can probably tell by the little montage I had at the beginning, my family and I, we are at the beach. Today's actually our last day here. I figured that um, I would do a little day in my life video, day in my life at the beach. First order of business is to get out of these sweatpants because it is a lot hotter than I thought it would be. But first I'm gonna eat breakfast. Oh, I had an egg on my lip. My grandmother made me toast and eggs. Usually she makes pancakes, bacon, sausage, eggs, grits, the whole shebang, you know. She's not doing that until later because nobody's awake. My mom and I are going somewhere very special this morning. Runny or dry? Me, that's all it is. So, 20 minutes after they took that test, they came back and told me that the test was inconclusive and they're gonna have to redo it. And we gotta restart all over. Like blow into mm -hmm. it. Put it in your nose and kind of blow your nose. I ain't never had it come, anybody come back valid, invalid twice. Let me see. Yeah, it's good. Cross your fingers. I hope it's just a hoax. <laughs> yeah, me too. <laughs> she just said that it came back invalid twice and that she's never had it happen and that when that usually happens, it means it's positive. Have you been sick or exposed or what? So it's pre-surgical. Mm -hmm. Okay. Sorry there were some issues and then no, you came back invalid the first two times. Grab your paper, we'll get you off your way. All right, thank you so much. Yes, sir. <laughs> I'm negative. Tennis bracelet, but I need 20 bands for a fucking ankle. He gave me neck, now I got the tech. These just only want that this shit they her future said. And you know cash. Alright guys, we're back home and I'm gonna come in and even though I'm completely negative for coronavirus, I'm gonna tell everybody I have it and see what they say. Well, how did it come? I'm positive. Do what? I'm positive. I have to stay away from people. Are you serious? He's video. He's not positive. He's making a YouTube video. <laughs> Don't I didn't believe that for a single Gosh. second. You're such a brat. Thanks, Archie. I don't know what he's been around up there. Nobody. So Having a second so breakfast. So Pancakes so and grits. Come on, make your noises. Make some noise. Come here, son. I am never stuck at You are a little monstrous, monstrous sucker. If you're excited, then you know, say, ah. 
Guess what? Sorry. <laughs> Carolina thinks her face is rubbed in good. Is it rubbed in? Yeah, it's rubbed in good. There's a yellow flag. A lot of the other days, there was purple flags for dangerous marine life. There were a bunch of jellyfish in the water. And so we would go jellyfish hunting, but it doesn't look like that's gonna be an option today. Let's go out. Busted that. All right, I did a whip pull earlier, but now I'm gonna try a double whip pull. Never tried that before, ever. Success. Weird facts that uh, you don't really care about. Number one, it's been ice cold freezing the entire trip. Also, I'm um, pretty sure they put like bleach or something in the pool because the chemicals are, it tastes awful. I mean, I don't drink it, but like if water gets on my mouth, uh, I can't open my eyes in the pool. This stuff burns, so. Hey guys, so I just got done eating lunch. I had some burgers and cucumbers and I had a banana. I think I'm about to get a piece of pizza though. Cause I'm still kind of hungry. I'm gonna take a break from the sun for a little bit and I'm going to transfer um, some data off of some SD cards over onto my computer, get rid of files that I don't need because somehow all but one of them is like completely full to where like I can't record anything on it. So I need to clear up some space so I can continue this video. That's what I'm gonna be doing for probably the next 30 or 45 minutes. What's up, Samuel Alvarez YouTube station? I am Uncle Rob. You can find me online at Rob underscore some raw on YouTube. And we are here, we're gonna fry up some dinner. All right, Samuel, first thing we're doing, check this out right here, okay? We're waiting for that to get to about 375 degrees. Yeah. Right now, we have two goals right now. Number one, get our grease hot. Number two, 
Don't catch the house on fire. <laughs> Is it for the French fries? That's half or, of them. Mm -hmm. We're going to do French fries and shrimp. Mm. All right. Looks like we are going to have a pretty good dinner today. It is currently almost 6.30. And for like the past hour and a half maybe, Laura Beth and I were down on the beach just talking about the most random things. But those are the best conversations ever. The ones where you just talk. Carolina and I are about to go take some awesome Instagram worthy beach pictures. We've been taking pictures for a while with a lot of camera because we came out here to use the DSLR and it fogged up pretty bad because of the humidity at the beach or the waves or something like that. So we've just been using the vlog camera to take pictures and they've actually been turning out a lot better than I expected them to. I have a funny story about this house that we're seeing. Okay, so when we first got here, there were no pot holders and the can opener was trash. For the first several days, um, the people who were making the food, what is this? Is this shrimp? Fish. Oh, it's delicious. Hot. Put it in your face hole. It's hot. Put it in your face hole. The don't eat food. I can't even. Hot. <laughs> Whoever was like making the food, they would like complain, be like, oh, well, there's no pot holders. We can't do this or the can opener's trash. Well, anyways. This one day, the owners of the house came and they brought a chair because one of the chairs was messed up. And then later that day, they brought Whoa. pot holders. Whoa! You good? Um, you see the fire chair? Yeah. And then later that day, they came back and they brought pot holders and two new can openers. Because they were listening to us on Instagram. And so we were like, oh, okay, well somebody must have told them. So we started asking around. Everybody was like, no, I didn't say anything to them. I didn't say anything to them. I didn't. Oh, I'm like, to get loud. we were like, uh, what the heck? Dinner. So like, we genuinely thought for a while that like, they, would that, like, they were like listening to us or something. But it turns out that my mom told them. On Instagram. On Instagram. All right. <laughs> Welcome to... Hello. <laughs> I was, just I was telling Uncle Rafa that. I want to know a fun fact about today. No. When I was tumbling on the beach, I dislocated my shoulder again. You know what's not going to happen after Tuesday? I will probably never dislocate my shoulder again because it will be drilled. Completely. It's subluxing. That's what they call it. What does that mean? It means. Just like a mild dislocation. I think my whole body it, it subluxes. It slips out of place, but it doesn't like completely pop out. Right. Of the like it. <laughs> Okay. Because if like, it completely pops out a joint, like it requires root strength. Right. To like get you have to push it. Like if this is my shoulder joint, it goes like this. Like it'll come out of place, and then a couple seconds later, it'll like. My elbow does it. Back in. My my and shoulder it hurts that. like dope. But guess what? I'm having surgery in what's today? Friday. Four days. So bring them Four casserole. Days, I'm gonna get anchors in my shoulder. Six month recovery. Is it Berenstain or Berenstain? What was that, Carolina? Berenstain. 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 Is it Berenstain? 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 Berenstain. There you go. Oh, it's Berenstain. It's Berenstain, and it's even Berenstain. spelled like that. When your fingers get all wrinkly, it's not you see that? that your fingers are wrinkly. Berenstain. Are That's not true. I. I try to have fettuccine alfredo. You see that? There's nothing in there. A little hack that I learned from my dad. He put the pasta in this. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
<laughs> Do you know where that's from? I literally have no clue what you just said. So. Mucho thanks and au revoir. thanks and au revoir. That's from Tom and Jerry the movie. Well, sure, I, I didn't think so. Too bad, duty calls and all that. I understand. Mucho thanks and au revoir. <laughs> I don't like Tom and Jerry. <laughs> <laughs> do you not like Tom or do you not like Jerry? No, I just don't like the whole cartoon super exaggerated stuff. But you like when you super exaggerate stuff? Oh! Sizzle. <laughs> Here comes the first pitch! Oh! <laughs> Hey guys, so I'm gonna tell you a little story. This is our Wii that we brought to the beach house, and my family only has two Wii remotes, so, but you can play with up to four Wii remotes. My grandmother and my grandfather, they have two Wii remotes at their house. They also have Mario Kart, which I mean, we have Mario Kart at our house, but I was like, okay, well, we're gonna stop at my grandparents' house on the way to the beach. So I'll just get their Mario Kart and their two extra Wii remotes so we can have four Wii remotes and Mario Kart. Then I forgot to get Mario Kart and the two extra Wii remotes when we went to their house and we came to the beach. So we were stuck without Mario Kart or without two extra Wii remotes. But then a couple days into the trip, my grandfather had to go back to their house to um, finish up some business. And while he was there, I asked him if he could get the two Wii remotes and the Mario Kart. I sent him these pictures. <laughs> And this is the two Wii remotes and the Mario Kart that he brought back. Hey, you're getting there. One more. This is the box for the steering wheel. <laughs> My grandmother's just laughing. <laughs> At least he tried. It's a thought that counts. Poor grandpa. Hi, guys. But it's okay. We love him anyways. Have y'all seen the Alvin and the Chipmunk scene where he like watch and learn <sighs> and throws it into the TV and the TV's all like oh my mm -hmm. watch and learn my friends whoops all right this one's gonna be a strike and call you're in my phone as Sammy Neal oh hey guys we're going crabbing go Here you hold the bucket bucket? Do we not have a bigger bucket than this? Alright, we're about to find these crabs. Oh my gosh! <laughs> it's on your foot! <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> Look at how pretty the moonlight is on the ocean. Why is it so bright? Look how small the baby is! Look at him! I will call you Cleopatra. <laughs> we just saw 
saw another big one and it ran into the ocean. If you're a crab and you're watching this, don't run into the ocean, don't dig. We're not gonna hurt you, we just, just wanna catch you. You get nowhere in life without facing your problems. So, here yes, we are, so. where are your problems? Carolina! Ah! Ah! Got oh, oh, he crawled over! Oh, he's not as big as I saw him. Oh my gosh. Quiet picture. Conclusion of our crab hunt. Probably like a four out of 10. We caught a bunch of crabs, but none of them are like whoppers, you know? Did you, oh, Carolina, why'd you, you bring the fish? Carolina, don't take that inside. It's gonna open up its mouth. See if it has teeth. It looks like it has teeth. So, that is all that I have for you guys today. Um, when we came back from crabbing, pretty much everybody had either gone to bed or they were in the process of going into bed. So, there wasn't really anything else I could record without disturbing anybody. So, I guess we're just gonna call it a day. That was a day of my life at the beach. We leave tomorrow morning. Yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to give it a big thumbs up if you liked the video. Make sure to comment and subscribe down below because that would just be awesome. And as always, Jesus loves you. I will see you in the next video.